Lucy Show, starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. I think so, yes. Oh, would you ladies like to enroll in our new art class? Art class? Yes. We're gonna meet here every Thursday night. I'll bet you do have a lot of talent. Oh, are you kidding? I can't even draw a straight line. I can't even draw a crooked line. <laughs> but I thought you two were always enrolling in night school classes. Well, we did, but we stopped. We didn't seem to be getting anything out of them. We haven't met a bachelor yet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see. That'll be... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. I just thought of something else I have to get. Lucy, what? I better go on to the market. Okay. May I use your back door? Be my guest. Thank you. I'll see you at home. All right, dear. Harold, do you have a world atlas? Oh, I certainly do. They're right over there. Oh. Jerry will get a lot of use out of an atlas. Well, it's not for Jerry, it's for me. He was doing a project last week, and he wanted to know what was England's chief export. All I could think of was Richard Burton. <laughs> Good morning, Harold. Good morning, Mr. Brooks. How are you today? Fine, thank you. This'll do. That'll be 485 altogether. Okay. Oh! Oh, dear. Well, well allow me. That's terribly sorry. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that was, that's my sandwich. I was eating it in the car. I didn't want it all. Well, I, I, I hated to be a litter bug. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't want the apple either. <laughs> uh, a mouse trap? Sure, with all that food in there, she's bound to have mice. <laughs> I was taking it back to the hardware store. It didn't work. I know this looks like a lot of junk, but it's all stuff that I need. Well, I guess that's all of it. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Not at all. I hope I wasn't any bother. Oh, you weren't any bother. Really? <laughs> Shall we start over? That'll be 485. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Say, Harold, has that print of mine been framed yet? Yes, it's already. I'll get it for oh, you. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I see you have some new prints. Uh, yes, they just came in. Oh. Thank you. is John Brooks the third. I wasn't looking for his name. I, I was looking at the picture. <laughs> My, what a lovely smile. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to be formally introduced? No, no, that isn't necessary. Well, okay. Well, well, well if you insist. <laughs> Mr. Brooks, here's your picture. Oh, say, you did a fine job, Harold. That looks just great. Yes, that frame is very becoming to Mona. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it amazing what a $15 frame can do for a $1 print? True. <laughs> so you two haven't actually met, have you? Uh, no, so we Hello, haven't. Mrs. Carmichael, may I present Mr. Brooks? Oh, how do you do? Glad to know you. Oh, nice to know you. <laughs> That'll be $16.32 tax. Oh, yes, I've got it right here. Oh, say, a beginner's art class, eh? Can I still enroll? You sure can. Class starts tomorrow night. Would you like an application? Oh, I certainly would. I've been meaning to enroll in an art class for years. So have I. <laughs> But, Mrs. Carmichael, you Never just... mind, Harold. Give me an application, please. <laughs> oh, but, uh, would you like to share my little desk? Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, 
You know, the reason I have never enrolled in an art class before is because I've been so busy raising my two children all alone. Oh. <laughs> of course, you probably, uh, your, your wife takes care of your children and all. Oh, no, I'm not married. Oh, oh. <laughs> Have you ever enrolled in an art class before? Oh, no, I, I don't even know if I have any talent. But I do believe that all of us have some sort of creativity bottled up inside of us. I feel the same way. In <laughs> fact, I think this class might be just the thing to pop my cork. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you are. Yes, there you are. Well, very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I'll see you in class. <laughs> Oh. oh, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Harold, I forgot to have you validate my parking ticket. Uh, may I help you? No, thanks. I, uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, maybe, yes. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> There's your ticket. Port ticket. Oh, thank you. Not at all. Oh, here's your change, Mr. Brooks. Oh, oh, thank you. And I know you're gonna get a lot of pleasure out of that art class. Oh, I'm sure I will. And, and it may give me a chance to meet some interesting people. I'll wrap this up for you. Oh, thanks. Uh, pardon me. Mm -hmm. yes. Dare I presume that you are new in town? That's right. Oh, well, I'm in charge of the Danfield welcome wagon. I can't imagine how we happen to miss you. I'll bring the wagon over if you'll just tell me when you and your wife will be home. Oh, but I'm not married. Oh, I'll bring my wagon right over. <laughs> my name is Vivian Bagley. I'm John Brooks the Third. Here you are, Mr. Brooks. Oh, thank you, Harold. Uh, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> oh, you brought a picture, huh? Yeah, goodbye, Mrs. Bagley. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Harold, I wonder if I could... Here. <laughs> I'm going out tonight. Will you do the dishes? I was just going to ask you to. I'm going out tonight, too. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well... Oh, I'm afraid I can't do the dishes. Cynthia's coming over and we're studying French together. Well, merci beaucoup a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I have a Spanish test. <laughs> well, oh... Do the dishes. Well, now, how come you're so eager to do the dishes? I thought you had homework to do. Yes, but I'm willing to forget it if you are. Never mind, young man. I could show you to practice. For what? For when I get married. A good husband knows how to wash dishes. Well, a good husband doesn't flunk the fourth grade. I you to do your homework. Good Come on, we'll stack them, then we'll do them later when we come home. Okay. I didn't know you were busy tonight. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I enrolled in that art class. You did? Yeah. So did I. Well, good for you. You know, Viv, I just got to thinking. There's going to be a big cultural explosion in America, and I want to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I met a cute man who enrolled, too. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. Two cute men in the same class. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's yours like? Well, he's kind of tall and terribly handsome. So is mine. And he has beautiful manners and a wonderful personality. So is mine. And he's just the perfect age for me. So is mine. And his name is John Brooks III. So is mine. <laughs> I'll make you a deal. You give me John Brooks a third, and you can have John Brooks a fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. <laughs> now it's gonna do it. All right, if that's the way you want it, then it's every woman for herself. You bet it is. All right, and no holds barred. No holds barred. That's right. <laughs> Why, hello there, Mr. 
Vivian Bagley. Yes, nice seeing you again. Oh, it's nice to see you again, too. You got your pad and already yes, started. Yes, all my equipment. Oh, that's <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Brooks. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I am Mr. Grusman, your teacher. Welcome to our beginner's art class. Now, tonight we're going to start out with sketching and charcoal. I just want you to go ahead and draw this bowl of fruit. Now, don't be inhibited. Sketch any way you see it. Then we'll talk about your drawings and learn as we go along. All right, class, start drawing. Right. <laughs> Would you mind changing seats with me, please? Well, I, I... I'll be glad to change with you, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> <laughs> there. Well, that looks pretty good, Vivian. Well, thank you. How come you don't draw what the rest of class is drawing? <laughs> Oh, that's all right. Get one off the table. There's plenty of them there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice, that's nice. That looks real. Sit down, dear. <laughs> yes, well, it's, it's, it's really has the form, though. Now that I've seen what you can do with the still life, I'd like you to try a drawing from life. But we need a model. Who will be a model? Oh. Would one of you like to pose for us? <laughs> Someone volunteer, please. One of the ladies or a gentleman makes no difference. Well, don't be shy. Lucy, is that a tear in your dress? Where? Under your arm there. Professor! Well, thank you, Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice of you to volunteer. Well, I, uh, I really didn't. I, uh... Oh, it's nothing. All you have to do is sit still so the class can sketch you. Well, I don't know. I, uh, oh, I go ahead, try. Mrs. Carmichael. You have such wonderful cheekbones. <laughs> really? <laughs> Here, if you please. Let me take your time. Now, Mr. Yeah. Carmichael, will you uh, strike a natural pose? You better make it something comfortable because you'll have to be sit quite still and not move for about half an hour. A half an hour? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brooks. Oh. Could you see my cheekbones from there? Oh, yeah. Don't move. That's it, class. Start drawing. <laughs> tell you I'm tired of hearing about it. Oh, come on now. Just because he asked me for a date instead of you, is that any reason to be a big sorehead? You bet your sweet life it is. What an underhanded thing to do, tricking me into modeling just so you could spend all that time with him yourself. Oh, now don't blame me. Blame your wonderful cheekbones. Yeah. If you hadn't been so sneaky, I'd be the one going out with him tonight. Well, while I'm out with him tonight, dear, why don't you amuse yourself by sketching a bowl of sour grapes? <laughs> yeah, well, you're right, Viv. I shouldn't be a sore loser. And just to prove to you that I'm not, I'll clean up the kitchen while you go get ready for your date. I am ready. <laughs> I wonder how late Flo's beauty shop is open. I don't know why. I just thought perhaps you'd have time to go and get your hair done. <laughs> I had my hair done this afternoon. Oh, I'm sorry, Viv. Yes, I see you did. Well, I guess even Flo has her off days. <laughs> Now, you don't want to go out with him unless you're looking your best. Now, do you? 
Well, no. Now, but why it... don't you call him? Tell him you have a headache. I'd be very glad to go in your place. <laughs> well, I thought... <laughs> oh, no, you know, no, no. I'm keeping that date, and that's all there is to it. But that was a nice try, Lucy. Oh, dear. Dress and hair. Oh, honestly, Lucy, why don't you give up? What's that? That is an apple pie for Johnny. That's an apple pie for Johnny. <laughs> it's our dessert for tonight. We're going to dinner, and then we're going to an early movie. And then we're going to have uh, pie and coffee at his apartment. His apartment? Uh-huh. He has to work late, so I'm going to take this pie over and put it in his oven to keep warm. And then I'm going to pick him up at his office. He has left the key under the mat for me. <laughs> Don't wait up for me, dear. I may be very late. <laughs> Jerry! you to go to the store and get me three jars of hot peppers, two cans of anchovies, and one bottle of Tabasco sauce. I am going to bake an apple pie. An apple pie? <laughs> I hate to wait in line. Oh, I didn't mind missing that movie at all. <laughs> My, this is the darlingest department. Well, it'll be a lot nicer when I get those pictures hung. It's still a little messy. <laughs> See, Viv, would you just throw these into the bedroom while I turn on some records? I just love to. Thank you. <laughs> There's something I want to tell you about my Mona Lisa. <laughs> What's that? Well, you remember that day we met in the art store? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I first saw the frame Harold put on it, I thought it was great. But now that I have it here in my apartment, I think the frame should be darker. 
So I'd like you to take a look at it and give me your opinion. Tell me what you think of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, tell me what you think of it. I say, what do you think of it? Think of what? The, the, the frame. Oh, yes. Oh, I think it's lovely. I wouldn't change a thing. Oh, God. I'm glad you like it. Now, where do you think I should hang it? What do you think about that wall? Oh, that, that wall would just be fine. Or, or maybe this wall over here. Oh, I think it'd look beautiful on that wall. <laughs> Except maybe the light might be too dark. Oh, yes, the light might be too dark. Well, let's not worry about it. I certainly don't have to think of where I'm going to hang it tonight. No, you don't. <laughs> Wouldn't you like for me to serve the pie and coffee? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. No pie and coffee for me. I had just a little too much dinner. Oh, my. That was a wonderful dinner. Wasn't it, though? It's just too bad you couldn't talk your friend, Mrs. Carmichael, into joining us. Oh, I tried to. <laughs> You know, lately, she doesn't seem to care much about going out. Oh. She seems perfectly content just to stay at home with her two children and her cats and her parents. <laughs> but you show me the rest of the apartment. I've only seen the living room and the bedroom. But and I, I noticed you had a terrace. I'd well, like I, to see your terrace. Well, I, I... Take another look at that picture. What? Mona Lisa is Mona Lucy. What? <laughs> mind if I have a little fun? No, go ahead. Oh, that really is a lovely terrace. Yeah, lovely view, too. I love the whole department. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know something I've always had a mad desire to do? What's that? Paint a mustache on Mona Lisa. <laughs> Well, the print only cost a dollar. Oh, you are the best sport, Johnny. <laughs> oh, now let's see here. Oh, I always wanted to do this. I cannot tell you. <laughs> How's that? Oh, that's quite an improvement. <laughs> would look with big, bushy, black eyebrows. That'd be my guess. Shall I? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, 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 there. Oh, how about a beard? A beard. A beard. Let's do it. All right, beard, that's it. The children were asleep, and the parrot was telling stories to the cat. <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. What happened to my Mona Lisa? Well, it's a long story. i tell you about it some other time. Oh, no, I'd like to hear about it right now. Well, maybe. I wouldn't want to tell it right now. Good night. Oh, now, just a moment. Now, now, I don't know what's going on between you two, but as long as you're here, why not stay for the dessert? Oh, oh, no, she wouldn't want to do that. Would you, Lucy? I'd love to. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and serve it, babe. You know, <laughs> I've been wanting to meet some interesting people in this town, but I sure hit the jackpot. <laughs> well, let me tell you, there are some very interesting people in Danfield, but I just have a feeling that you are going to be a very fascinating addition, Johnny. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Johnny? Well, you... <laughs> What is it? You're about the prettiest girl I've ever seen in a mustache. Oh, I forgot all about it. There's your pie, Lucy. Oh, thank oh, you, Jack. Oh. I, I completely forgot that. <laughs> 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 